The U5 Bears are ranked third in the country and are 19 and one on the season. They also have won 37 consecutive games at home, trying to make it 38 this oh, afternoon. U Pike baseball players cheering on the third ranked <laughs> Bears great. against so Life University out of Georgia. We start this highlight with some defense off of U Pike miss. Juwan Burden thinks he has a layup. KJ Manigault says, mm, no, no sir. The monster <laughs> block for the Bears and Manigault. On the offensive side, check out the pass to Jackson Husty for the fast break bucket. Bears lead by two. KK Simmons now had himself a day. Watch him drive, absorb the contact, gets the shot to fall. U Pike rolling in this one. Manigault had a nice game too off the steal. No one in front of him. He throws it down with the right hand. Now you decide which is better on this play the pass from Simmons or the finish by Manigault. It cranks it. Either way. It's another impressive two-pointer. As we mentioned, Simmons had a nice day. Just before the halftime buzzer, he buries one of his eight three-pointers. Bears led by 25 at the break. And as we go to the Highlands Black and Blue Clinic scoreboard, you see Simmons finished with 43 points as number three U-Pike rolls live. <laughs> 107 to 85. Manigault, Hussey, and Makari Brooks also in double figures for the Bears. All right. <laughs> Let's stay on the Highlands Black and Blue Clinic It's funny. Board. I guess it is. The they roll life. Yes. Gosh, keep reading. Love life. Love life. <laughs> the Ellis Lloyd men, they win 83-77 over IU Kokomo, but the women lose to the Cougars 79-65. Meanwhile, the UVA Wise women get the 10-point win over West Virginia Wesleyan 84-74, but the Wise men lose again. Now 15 straight losses for the Cavs, 74-59, the final in Buchanan, West Virginia today. You just shot down my happiness. Also today, Union's Deontay Johnson scored a season-high 30 points and joins the Bulldog 1000 career point club. Union defeats Kentucky Christian 99, all one point shy of 167. Eight straight wins for the, net, for the Bulldogs. All right, check out Justin Johnson and the tops of Western Kentucky. Those are some sweet warm-ups. Looks like they're going paintballing or something. Chris Harrison <laughs> docks was big in this one. We're all tied up early after that. Three ball. The Roadrunners were led, though, by Keon Lewis. He finished with a game-high 24 points. WKU up 20-17, to 17, though. During the timeout, Brom and the WKU football team, Woo! they took the court to say hello. They won that Popeye Bahama Bowl trophy. And then later, back to the action. That's Brandon Pierce. Tops rolling away up. 38-31. After being up 14 points, the Roadrunners would put the rally caps on. Jerome Hill cuts the toppers 47-38. Uh, this is Geno Littles. Big move. Sweet lay-in. They're only down 52-48. CHD uh, took his strong game right into the second half. This one from the outside. Tops go up 55-49. TJ Price would stretch out the topper lead. Price right into the paint into the bucket. He goes up 61 to 52 and late in the game the top steal this one off with Justin Johnson. Oh the hand one bucket. I think you'd make that free throw and he finished with three points so you saw basically all three of them. The tops go on to win 83 to 74. The WKU is now 7 and 0 in conference play. Meanwhile the 24th ranked WKU women on the road against UTSA. They dropped their first conference game of the season. The Lady Tops lose to the Roadrunners by 1.64 to 63. Former Perry Central Lady Commodore Kendall Noble finished with 16 points, 6 assists, 4 rebounds, and 2 steals in the loss. Yeah. Also, the Marshall men, they are way below the 500 mark, but today the Thundering Herd wins 78-71 over UTEP. Marshall moves to 5-15. All five wins are at home in Huntington. Today the Herd got solid production out of Justin Edmonds. He hit five three-pointers and finished with 20 points. Marshall shot 40% from the floor, and now we'll have five days off before the next game. The Herd will travel to Southern Miss next Thursday. Staying on the scoreboard, the Moorhead State women lose at Jacksonville State today, 72 to 64. Four guys in double figures for the Moorhead State men, though, as the Eagles defeat the Gamecocks, 66, 63. The Eastern Kentucky, both the East, both Eastern Kentucky teams go on the road for a doubleheader with Tennessee Tech. The women get the OVC win, 97, 93, and the men lose in overtime, a heartbreaker, 82. Mm. 81. The Lincoln Memorial University Rail Splitters get the sweep at Tex Turner Arena today down in Hare. Get the women get the win 77 to 57, and the men get the win 86 to 76. Duke's Hall of Fame coach will go for a special win tomorrow. It would be win number 1,000 for Blue Devils head coach Mike Shishesky. 
if fifth-ranked Duke can beat St. John's tomorrow. A win at Madison Square Garden would bring his career record to 1,000 wins, 308 losses in his four decades as a coach. He's won four national titles at Duke and has made it to 11 Final Fours. The only other Division I basketball coach that has approached the historical 1,000 win number is Tennessee women's coach Pat Summit with 1,098 wins. So, number five, Duke versus at St. John's tomorrow on Fox. You want to read it? Two o'clock, Tim. Pretty sure that said Lauren right yeah. there, not Jamie. <laughs> Inside Madison Square Garden, Duke head coach Mike Shishovsky will go for that milestone 1,000th win. Shishovsky earned his 903rd career victory at Madison Square Garden in 2011 to become the winningest coach in NCAA history. And under Coach K, Duke has won 17 out of its last 20 games at the Garden in New York. Just wanted you to read something with Duke. You just were, he's so <laughs> excited. Next on the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime Saturday night, let's talk about the Senior Bowl, the Super Bowl, and the Pro Bowl. And Deflate Gate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, we'll name our play of the week. So much to say. <laughs> <laughs>